Hello, YouTube. Let me start with an ordinary observation from the archives of Ukraine uh, during the Soviet era. I will read directly from the report. It all started on June 17, 1979, at 23 hours 6 minutes Moscow time, while on an archaeological expedition near the village of Dolzhik, Zalachevsky district, Kharkiv region. Um, I, Buinov, U, V, and my friend Petrenko, E, N, observed the UFOs, good weather, and a clear starry sky. We sat by the tents and looked at the sky, looking at various stars in it, watching the satellites. We noticed the UFO suddenly when it was overhead and watched its flight for about three minutes until it disappeared over the horizon. The UFO looked like an ordinary bright white satellite. Therefore, our attention was attracted not by the appearance, but by the very unusual trajectory of its flight. Its flight was distinguished from the flight of ordinary satellites by the fact that it moved zigzag, zigzagging at regular intervals at an angle of 95 degrees, quickly and sharply. The object was flying from west to east. Its brightness did not change at the time of turns. So this report is from the archive of the Kharkov section of the A.S. Popov Scientific and Technical Society of the USSR Academy of Sciences. Very, very interesting report in itself. It was obtained by uh, Kalityuk and Bilik um, and found on the site of Ukraine's ufologist Novost Ufology, which I really like, and they do tremendous work. Look, it's always exciting to read about archaeologists observing UFOs, and even more so about archaeologists finding ancient rocket ships, as uh, happened in the city where I was born, Kiev, in Russia, and Kiev in Ukrainian. I have described this discovery in my books, but today I want to talk about those zigzagging UFOs. So, you know, through the time, uh, we have been seeing many reports of sighting of UFOs, with some of them describing unusual and seemingly impossible flying patterns, such as zigzagging movements. A zigzag is a pattern that consists of a series of sharp turns in uh, alternating directions, and this type of movement is often associated with evasive, quick maneuvers or quite sudden changes in direction. And in the context of UFO sightings, the term zigzag is often used to describe the unpredictable and erratic flight patterns of this mysterious, unidentified flying objects. Here are some interesting footnotes about such UFOs. Um, this is from uh, German Konstantinovich Kolchin's book, uh, former... Uh, Colonel, retired Colonel uh, in the Soviet Union and then Russia, and very distinguished UFO researcher and author. And you can see my video about him. You'll find it in my playlists. The book was called UFOs, Facts and Documents. In the magazine Technika Maladyozhi, year 1979, issue number three, Kosmonaut Khrunov wrote that the ability of UFOs to change course at high speed by 90 degrees, it's just amazing. In November 1980, in the city Tula, radio engineer Tyapkin observed a star-like object flying from north to south along a zigzag trajectory, with the apparent magnitude of the zigzags decreasing as it moved. Then the object stopped and hovered for five to six minutes. At the seminar dedicated to UFO enigmas in Petrozavodsk in 1988, the famous test pilot Marina Popovich told how she and a group of eyewitnesses, while on the Hisar in 1983, observed a luminous object similar to a satellite, which initially moved along a zigzag trajectory and then hung motionless, 
directing a ray of light towards the earth. In October 1989, near the village of Vladimirovka in the Khorestyansky district of the Kuybyshev region, five machine operators working in the field saw a strange glowing object in the shape of a sphere with a uh, diameter of at least 50 meters, which hovered low over the arable land. There were portholes visible in it, and a flashing device was rotating in the upper part. Then this object began to move rapidly over the field along a zigzag trajectory and illuminate the ground under it with a powerful searchlight. UFO flights along zigzag trajectories were also noted in 1961 over the city of Benjamin, Texas, in 1965 in Antarctica, in 1967 in the area of Birga Alun in Romania, in 1976 over the city of Viedma, Argentina, in 1973 near Belamorsk, USSR, in 1984 near the Habarovsk airport, and in 1985 near Shaolai. The trajectories of descending or landing UFOs are zigzag. These objects often sway from side to side like a falling leaf. Such a UFO movement was observed in 1952 in England, in 1954 in France, in 1958 in El Salvador, in 1957, 1960 in the USA, in 1968 in Romania, and in our country in 1977 in Mahachkala, and in 1978 in Belova near Moscow. The statistical study of UFO reports conducted in France by the Poera group shows 38 cases of UFO flights along the trajectory of a falling leaf. Uh, there are also cases uh, when UFO moved along trajectories in the form of a spiral, as was in 1956 over Orangeville, Canada, in 1984 over Habarovsk, and in 1985 over Kohtla Yarve. In other cases, they flew along <coughs> rolling trajectories, rising and fo falling. Uh, similar trajectories were recorded in 1984 in Ohio, in 1951 in Michigan, and in 1956 in the Washington area. And this is from the Russian Volga group Anomalous Zone. This article is from the newspaper Volga Review, dated February 2007, commented by Gennady Belimov. He was a very dedicated UFO researcher, and uh, he even introduced the first course on ufology in Russian uh, universities. He passed away a few years ago, but he had a tremendous writing um, legacy. Here's what he said. The results of observing these objects do not raise any doubts about their classification as UFOs. The shape of the object, its movement and maneuvers, the nature of the UFO lighting, all this convinces that this machine does not belong to the known types of aircraft. It is interesting to observe such an object, the zigzag motion of the UFO along with its original arrangement of lights is amazing. Often, when moving, the object went one way or another, and it did so abruptly that it seemed as if it disappeared from one place and appeared in another. What kind of terrestrial aircraft can do this? Nevertheless, these observations incline to the idea of the military origin of this UFO. One of the directions of the triangle is the volga Achtuba flood plane, so our teams plan our team plans to explore this area meter by meter and i will just add that uh, they did they studied quite a lot of um ufo sightings in the area including including visitations from ufo to the nuclear uh, research sites not far away and you can see it in my videos about uh, UFOs and Soviet nuclear facilities in Russian too, of course. So that's what I wanted to let you know today. Uh, just some more information about UFOs in the former USSR and modern uh, post-Soviet countries. And stay tuned for more information about archaeologists who observed UFOs. Very interesting. 
Very interesting part of this uh, subject. Thank you for your attention to my work. If you like my research, please support me through the links you will find in the description to this uh, video. And stay tuned for more interesting videos about UFOs and paranormal phenomena in Eurasia and elsewhere. Thank you.